international dish. Mm. If you like us that loves the a mom and pop shop, restaurants or places, this is your place. It's like no city like it in Southeast Asia. We are at Little India or Bricksfield neighborhood, which is really close just here in KL Central. And we are on a mission today to get some food, and then to show you why KL is the best capital in Southeast Asia, one of the best capitals in the whole world. It's like no city like it in Southeast Asia. Let's go to our first stop of the day. Oh, my private jet is here. Funny thing is that we're right by KL Central, right by all these big buildings, but it's this huge green open lot. It's so peaceful here, even though we have a lot of traffic. Like that's KL for you too. Yes, yeah, so you can always find these pockets of green space in KL. It's just so beautiful here. Um, coming from New York City where, mm, hello. <laughs> Love about this spot is that they serve you only one thing. It's just a lunch set, so they give you a mix of different vegetables, rice. It's a vegetarian paradise here. Very local favorite. Yep. And the moment you sit down, just wash your hands right away and they serve you the food. Again, <laughs> just like Greg said, it's just one way, one way only. And nice well, and simple. Nice and simple and it's vegetarian. Delicious. So good, so good, so good. And it's cool on the sign here, they actually have written in Malay, Tamil, and in Chinese. I believe it's Cantonese. Showing the diversity once again. And if you see us eating with our hands, it's because we prefer eating with our bare hands if it calls for it. But they also serve with spoon and fork. So if you choose to eat a spoon and fork, that's fine. It's totally, it's totally up to you. <laughs> There's no judgment here. One of the beautiful things about KL also is that you can walk. It's a very walkable city with so much green space. And we're actually walking right now from Bricksfield to Chinatown. Yeah. We've done it Little many India to Chinatown. We've done it many times before. We've walked in this city many times before. So because we just love how walkable this city is. Also to burn off all that food. Yes. And to eat more food. Yes. like that about just 20 like minute that. walk from little india or the bricksfield neighborhood you get to chinatown uh, chinatown Catholic street could be pretty touristy but there are some gems here we're going to take you to one of our favorite places for some noodles right. so if you're like us love to eat at local mom and pop shops this place has been here for so long. You can find this place in Pataling Street where it could be very touristy, but a place like this exists. It's been here since very, very long time, since 1949 actually. Yeah. And if you're like us that loves a mom and pop shop, restaurants or places, this is your place. There are also new school spots here around Pataling Street, but if you prefer that way, there's like coffee shops and everything, but let's go get our beef noodles. So we're here 
at Pasar Seni or the Central Market. It is close to Chinatown, um, a few blocks away. So let's go inside. We haven't been inside in a very long time, so let's see what's going on here. And here you can find like souvenirs. It's mostly like souvenir shops. So it's not that busy because it's on a weekday. Right here is Masjid Jamek, one of the oldest mosques in the city. It dates back to the early 1900s. So it just steps away from Chinatown, Central Market, and we also have Merdeka Square. We're gonna head there next. And the beauty about it, it's, it's just a couple of minutes away from the Central Market. So it is, you can really take a leisure walk and be in another neighborhood or be in another culture. Yeah, there's beautiful old buildings everywhere. That is it for Little India or Bricksfield, um, Basar Seni, Central Market. Uh, what else did we see? Chinatown. Um, Chinatown. Merdeka Square. Merdeka Square, Masjid, Jamek. This area, this neighborhood. We all did it by foot. And imagine how many cultures did we cross, did we see in that probably like two hours. It is amazing. Now we're gonna head to our train station. Well, we're gonna head to the train station. Get on a train. is Kampung Baru and what a beautiful thing about Kampung Baru is that it's in the middle of KL and even though it's surrounded by so many uh, modern architecture like the Tronus Tower it is this little pocket um, of houses uh, Kampung Baru means new village and we have these little Kampung houses they're actually right by one right now Yes. You see these, you see these throughout little villages throughout Malaysia, you find houses like this, like kampong houses. And it's right in the middle of a bustling, growing city. So there's been talks that this area could be changed over the years. We hope not. There's a real gem in the middle of the big city. If you just go a little bit further, some like narrow streets, you'll find, you still find uh, very old houses, like really local, local, local uh, houses. For example, look at that house right there that is a house and people still live there wow so we're here at Nasi Lemak Wanjo and it's been a minute since we were here the last time this place has changed a lot it was big when we came for the first time, now it's even bigger. And let's see if their food still tastes the same as the first time we've had it. Since we're in Kampong Baru, which is a very Malay neighborhood here in Kuala Lumpur, we have to get nasi lemak. Very nicely organized, I gotta say. It's very efficient. When you walk in, they're already getting it ready for you. Then you add your side dishes. We have our chicken rendang and we have our karang sambal, so kapas. Wait, hold on. I can tell Nasi Lemak Wanju, it's like its own Medan Solera that's only is Nasi Lemak Wanju. This is how I can compare it to Malaysia's national dish. Mmm. Good as I remember. Yeah. Very coconutty rice. Love it. The sambal is just like sweet and a little spicy. The rice is very on point though. Here. They were like security. 
securities and telling us there's no photos or any filming allowed in this bridge. Now everyone is like filming, taking photos. Made it to KLCC where the iconic Patronus Towers live. <laughs> yeah, we never get tired of these. Really one of the most beautiful buildings in the world. It is. It is the most beautiful building in the world. It's so pretty. but welcome to KLCC Park. This is right in the middle of the bustling city center here and the beautiful thing, you can hear birds chirping. We have one of the tallest buildings in the world just behind us, you hear the birds chirping. It's so clean, quiet, well-maintained, but it's got something for everybody, for kids, for tourists, for locals. If you wanna just walk around, relax, it's amazing. There's a running track. If you're a runner, you can just jog here. If you're a walker, you can just walk here. And if you are just like, sit kind of a person yeah a lot of places you can place sit for kids to play in the water it's like there's a lot of stuff going on you have the aquarium right over here too very 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 yeah. nice park in the middle of a hectic and bustling center yeah and it's relatively new it's less than 30 years old i just thought about it this is literally concrete jungle <laughs> this park literally is a concrete jungle it's like yeah right isn't it well surrounded by concrete but it's like a jungle in the middle of the concrete so concrete jungle yeah i think concrete jungle i think i like building is the jungle well buildings are yeah this is much nicer than this is jungle, literally literally a jungle in the middle of concrete yeah it's really like i would say this is kind of like kl's central park on a much smaller scale but a much cleaner scale <laughs> 